Welcome to this lecture on percent change. So in the real world, numbers go up and down all the time. For example, gas prices may go up, they may go down. Your math score may go up or down depending on how you did on the last test. Well, oftentimes we don't care about the actual number. What we care about is how much an actual value went up or down. We measure this by percent change, which is the percentage the value goes up or down that's what can be really important. Percent change measures the amount something increases or decreases. You might say to yourself, well, who cares? What's the big deal? What's the difference? Let me show you an example to illustrate why this matters. Here you can see Luby's lemonade stand. On Monday, the weather was cloudy and she sold 20 cups of lemonade. However, on Tuesday, the weather cleared up, it was nice and sunny, and she sold 30 cups of lemonade. Luby was very happy with this increase. Now let's look at Emma's lemonade stand. On Monday, even though it was cloudy, she sold 200 cups of lemonade because she has a much bigger lemonade stand. Then on Tuesday, when the weather was nicer, she sold an extra 10 cups as well, bringing her total to 210. However, Emma was not happy. What's the deal? Why was Luby happy, but Emma wasn't? they sold exactly 10 more cups of lemonade each? Well, the answer is percent change. The percent change measures how much something gains or loses in value. So this explains why Luby was happy and Emma wasn't. Luby actually had a 50% increase in her sales, while Emma only saw a 5% increase, right? A 10 cup increase to Luby meant a lot. Whereas to Emma, since she sells a lot more, 10 cups doesn't mean as much. She was expecting a much bigger gain. Let's look at the formula that we're going to use to find percent change. You can see it here. In this formula, we have the new value minus the old value divided by the old value and then times 100. It may seem complicated. I guarantee you it's not. Let me show you how it's done over on the whiteboard. So our example states that the original cost of a shirt is $20. The new cost of the shirt is $25. So what is the percent change in the cost? Well, we know we have to use new minus old over old to find our answer. So the new cost is $25 minus the original 20 divided by 20. This equals five over 20. Now to change this into a percentage, we simply want to make it out of 100. So we can multiply by five, multiply by five, and we get 25 over 100, which is 25%. Now, since this is a positive value, this is going to be a 25% increase. If it would have been a negative value, obviously 25% decrease. In our second example, we have an original cost of a shirt that's $20 and a new cost that's 12. So what's the percent change? So again, we do new minus old over old. So we have 12 minus 20 over 20. So this gives us negative eight over 20. So we need to change that into a percentage. Easiest way is to make it out of 100. Again, we're gonna multiply by five. So we end up with negative 40 over 100. So this is gonna be negative 40%, or you could say a 40% decrease. You see that the only difference between an increase and a decrease is the sign of your percentage. It could be negative or positive. 